Hi Church, it's great to be with you here this morning and uh, I'd love to uh, share a, a devotion with you. My name is Laura and uh, I oversee our Audacious Foundation which is all about changing lives and transforming communities and um, it's great to be with you here today wherever you're watching from and uh, uh, just a, a couple of weeks ago, I uh, came to our central Manchester location for church on a Sunday. I arrived early and believe it or not, it uh, was pouring it down with rain. It might be August, but in Manchester, it was raining hard, a torrential downpour. And uh, and despite uh, the wet weather and uh, all of the the puddles, I would say it was even borderline flooding, um, I observed one of our senior leadership team taking the charge uh, by being out in the rain, battling through uh, the weather uh, to, to make sure that we were ready for a Sunday, serving others by uh, putting out gazebos, um, getting the car park ready for visitors, uh, making sure that other people could stay dry and uh, and that Sunday was an incredible experience for others. And for me, uh, that was an incredible example of servant leadership. And I want to talk a little bit today uh, about uh, the power of servanthood. And the verse that uh, that I'm reading from is uh, John chapter 13 and the message translation verses three to six says this. Jesus knew that the father had put him in complete control of everything, that he came from God and was returning to God. So he got up from the supper table, he set aside his robe and put on an apron. Then he poured water into a basin and began to wash the feet of the disciples, drying them with his apron. When he got to Simon Peter, Peter said, Master, why do you wash my feet? And uh, an incredible account um, of Jesus's life and those verse of, verses have really inspired me in recent weeks on the power of servanthood and servant leadership and uh, first it's an incredible reminder uh, that Jesus is the ultimate servant leader it's mind-blowing that uh, the son of God uh, literally came to earth to serve and Jesus knew that his identity was found in God. He knew that he was uh, from God and going back to God. And so from that place of identity, um, Jesus was able to literally kneel down, take off his robe, put on an apron and humble himself before uh, the disciples. And uh, in doing so, Jesus really gave us an example or a blueprint for servant leadership, because as his followers, we know who we are in God. And we have the under understanding that uh, the earth isn't our final destination, um, but heaven is our home. Uh, and uh, from that place, we can have the joy and also the freedom to serve others. And that's really what I want to uh, encourage you with today. If you have time to, to read the full chapter uh, in John, then uh, you'll notice that the verses preceding um, uh, talks about uh, how Jesus was at an evening meal with his disciples. And the Bible says that uh, the devil had already prompted Judas uh, to betray Jesus. Uh, so Jesus knew that uh, Judas was going to betray him, but he still took that position of a servant. Not only that, um, but but Jesus, uh, he served us by giving us his life. The Bible says that we are all sinners and fall short of the glory of God. Uh, but Jesus still chooses uh, to uh, to come and to serve us. In uh, Philippians chapter 2, verse 8, we read that Jesus being found in appearance as man, humbled himself by being obedient to death, even death on a cross. The ultimate sacrifice, the ultimate act of service was to give his life to us who are sinners. And um, 
And Jesus did that so that me and you uh, could have eternal life with God. And uh, so I also just want to take a moment that if uh, you don't know Jesus as your saviour today, then there is an opportunity right now to commit your life to God um, because of what Jesus has done for you on the cross, what he's done for you and me. Yeah, on the cross. And so coming back to our story in John, Jesus uh, uh, finished washing the disciples' feet by saying, now that I, your Lord and teacher, have washed your feet, you should also wash one another's feet. I've set an example that you should do as I have done for you. Now, I'm not suggesting that we do that practically, although uh, you can give that a go if you really want to. But Jesus has given us an example that as he has served his disciples, uh, so we can also serve uh, other people as well. And uh, I just want to leave you with a bit of a challenge today that uh, um, uh, perhaps you just set apart some time to think about how you can bless others as you serve them. It might be making a round of cups of tea at work uh, or just staying a little bit longer to uh, to help somebody out uh, in the office. Maybe it's a family member um, that needs some support, somebody who's struggling or isolated. But we all have opportunities in our day-to-day lives to serve others and uh, to bring glory to God uh, by doing that. that. Whatever it is um, that uh, the opportunity that you've got to serve others today, uh, let's do it in a way that honours God, um, who's the ultimate example of servanthood. I uh, just want to encourage you this morning that uh, God is moving powerfully and um, it's uh, it, it, it's amazing to see everything that he's doing. So we'd love to uh, hear, hear back from you on uh, how uh, you have been uh, serving others and how you've been uh, challenged to put that into practice. Have a fantastic day today. It's brilliant to share with you this morning. Take care.